My nephew gave me a piece of uh, spalted red oak. And uh, actually, I showed a picture of it earlier on this to show you just what the piece was when we got it. But then I cut it up, and I wish I had started my cameras earlier because this is what I ended up with. It's just an absolutely beautiful piece of wood. Uh, just love all the color. I love the grain. Uh, it had a uh, rotted spot right here, and what it is, I dug that out and it put epoxy in it. So I had two more pieces still left, and I want to show you what we're going to do with those. This one, I've already started to turn it down, but I'm finding nothing but garbage. And uh, so I don't think this one's going to work for me to do a bowl. But here we have, this is, the, this is what we're going to do today is I'm going to put this together and see if we can turn it into a bowl. i got a little bit of rot going down into here a little ways, all right, but I think I can get rid of that. And on this side, this is punky right here. I can actually pull that out of there. So I'm going to try and see if I can't do the same thing we did with this bowl and dig that out and put an epoxy fill on it. But on this one here, the screw I screwed into here actually pulled right on out. I've got probably... I'd say five out of seven screws in here that are actually holding the wood. So it's a small enough piece. It should be, I feel safe enough that it'll, it'll work. But that's what we're going to do today. All right, let's mount this up and see what we can get out of her. I'm going to put a small tenon on here just because it'll give me as much room as possible to cut some of this outside off. So we'll see what we got. This is a 5 8 bowl gouge, just as a Carter and Sons. It's very chippy stuff, and that is hurting the palm of my hand right back here. So I'm going to put a glove on. All right, let's see what we got. I think this could be fun. Now I'm going to bring the one camera up closer. Oh, that's pretty. All right, this I'm going to have to fill with uh, epoxy. So we'll play with that one a little bit. I got a crack right there. So I'll probably fill all of this stuff up with epoxy. And I'm going to bring this down. It's going to be a shallower bowl. I'm going to get rid of a lot of this top piece there. the colors. Nice, smooth. A little bit of sanding there and we're all set. I don't got to figure this one out yet though. Just flip her around. Take that off and put a new point on it.
Alrighty, we're back at it. I got some uh, super glue, but this is going to have to be epoxy. I got to dig out all this yet, and but I'm going to super glue up my cracks here, CA glue, and this I'm going to fill also with epoxy. I think I may do it right now before I take out the inside. I'll dig this out as best I can, and I'll leave that there to keep the epoxy from just flowing. Eh. I say that, and as soon as I finish saying that, I think I'm going to clean out the inside and just leave it thick. You're dealing with this kind of wood, which is cool looking. You have to deal with what the wood is. It's like, if it makes you do something different, that's what you got to do. Wow! Wow, that's tight. Only three of the screws were actually into solid wood when I took it back off. So this is all flaking out of here. So I'm going to put this on my chuck before I do anything else, because this may just go to and uh, I'll throw it in the fire pile. But we'll see what we can do. So I'm going to have a shield on here because your, this stuff is going to start popping off. Haven't hit any solid wood yet. Wow, got a hunk out of that. The other side's the same thing. So I'm going to take the whole thing down. Oh, I love the looks here. We're going to take it down another three quarters of an inch. One inch deep. One and five eighths. So the bottom is five eighths of an inch thick right now. If I pop that, my goodness. Well, I think we tried, but I don't think that's going to work. It's a pretty, pretty piece of wood. It gets to a point where it's just not worth it. But as we got cracks going down through here, there's a crack right there. This carries all the way over to that side. So I was thinking about even putting epoxy on it. I don't think so. We got ourselves a piece of firewood. Beautiful piece of firewood. But, well, I thought this bowl was dead. My wife has decided that she likes it. So what she wants me to do is I'm going to fill these cracks in here with some brown uh, CA glue. I got a couple more over here. I'm going to clean up some of this a little bit. And I'm going to put it back on the lathe. And I'm going to clean out the bottom so I get a nice smooth section here. And I'm going to take my scraper and round over both edges here, so this, this is very, very sharp. I'll touch up some uh, cracks here with some clear, because I don't want to leave a, a stain on the outside. And then I got one right here that needs to be filled just a little bit. I'll probably use brown. And then on the back side here, instead of taking the tenon off, I'm going to leave the tenon on and make this a uh, pedestal type thing. And we're just going to come in and cut it about maybe a quarter inch round over it and then clear out the inside so it'll sit on a counter like that. We'll see what it looks like. Right now, let's just get my shield on. You just never know when you got broken pieces like this that something's going to come popping off. But real lightly, just going to round the outside edge. I'm going to turn my speed up. I don't know if you noticed, but I took my blade and I tilted it up. That gives you a nice shear cut coming around the outside edge here. Where you heard that chatter, 
it takes away the chatter. So you got a nice smooth finish on there. I just rounded the edge. I can go a little bit more on there. I'm gonna. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the super glue or the CA glue off of here, and I want to round this just a little bit more there. Get the high spots off. Go a little bit more. This is feeling real good right there. A little bit there, but I don't want to get my tool any closer. So we'll flip it around, but I'm going to get this top section here. So I'm going to put this on my vacuum chuck. And this is why you always leave a pin or a center point on your bowl, because then you can line up real easy. Just put it right on your point and bring it up to your vacuum chuck, and she's dead center. So we're going to snug, snug that up just a little bit. And I'm going to turn on the vacuum to see how much vacuum we've actually got. Oh. All right. There's a 24 right there, so I'm going to good seal that is in through here. I thought maybe we'd be pulling some air through the cracks here, but she's looking really good. So I'm going to clean this part up first, and then we're going to dig that out. Okay, let's do the bottom. Light, 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 light cuts. I'm using a 3 8 bowl gouge. So you don't have much holding it on there. That's just air sucking on it. You want to get nice and smooth. Alrighty, I got this all sanded up. This is looking actually pretty cool. This is my wife's save because I was going to throw it on the fire. My wife said, you know what? I think you can fix that. Looking pretty cool. I'm going to put a finish on it and see what it looks like. Alrighty, we're going to put a tongue oil finish on this. This is Minwax. But very, very simple application. All I do is a paper towel, dump a little in the bowl, and spread it around. You got to fill it. Make sure you get the all the wood coated really well, though. But, I mean, you could see the difference in the colors. Doesn't take much at all. All right, there's the back side where I put that finish. As soon as you put the finish on, the wood just pops. And all I do is wait maybe about five minutes, let it soak in, and then wipe off the excess. That is looking cool. I really like that. Just something different, you know. And instead of taking the tenon off, all we do is we make a pedestal on the bottom of it. A little bit of an indent. Pretty simple. I'm trying to be crazy here. And I go 24 hours, and then I'll come back and put a second coat on this, and then um, I buff them. Most. All of my bowls I use tongue oil finish on. It seems to work the best for what I like for a finish. Some people like walnut, it's just a dull look to it. I don't care for it. I've used it. I've used it a few times, and each time I do it, I go, oh, I don't like that. And it's like, okay. So I give them away so I don't have to worry about what you like. I get to give you what I like. And this is going to my brother-in-law. His son is the one who gave me the wood. He got the first bowl. 
Alrighty, one piece of, uh, well, actually we didn't get this, this one. It just, I'm not gonna even try to save it. It's just too much rot. But I ended up with these two bowls out of the rest of that piece. And uh, this is all spalted red oak. I mean, just look at the colors in that. That is beautiful. This is filler. This is epoxy filler that I used a uh, mica powder. It's a brown with a shavings in it. If you look real close, you can see the brass shavings in it. Give it a little something, but I had to take the rod out. This one held, all right? And this one, we put the uh, super, yeah, CA glue in it, some brown CA glue, and filled some of the cracks there. There's some on the backside too, but pretty, 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 pretty bowl. Try to leave a natural edge on this one. Cool. All right, this one here, I was going to throw it out. My wife goes, no, 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 you can save that. And I'm glad I did because it's just a cool looking little bowl. But we kept going down lower and lower until we finally got rid of some of the extra stuff. And then this all popped out. But beautiful, beautiful grain. I love the colors. Neat. This one's my brother-in-law's, Doug, and this was his son, Jeremy's, and the, the wood came from Jeremy.